Not red, red wine, no. Not I'll to like teach the world to sing. Here comes the chorus, you get it from this. No, no guesses. I'll do the chorus again. Should get it from the chorus. Remember, it's two voices. I'll give you a clue. No. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's not Islands in the Stream. It's not Rennie and Renate. Um, just two choruses in the... Uh, Two voices in the chorus. I'm going to have to give it to you because we're starting late today. And I think a lot of the viewers are in bed. There's only 41 viewers. Um, not Ebony and Ivory. Not Under Pressure. Not, it's a, not I'm a Pink Toothbrush. Let's. Should have got it. Because I'm the clue. I've had a secret for many years now. I've never dared expose. You've seen the people on That's Life. Who can sing through their nose. Well, I do something similar. I practiced it for years. And though audiences may shut their eyes, they never close their ears. You see that my penis can sing. You suck and you suck and my penis can sing. I certainly can. And everybody says to me and him. And they sounds a bit like ding across the... It was My Penis Can Sing by Richard Herring from uh, first written when he was uh, 16, 17 years old. Yes, chicken, yes, chicken. First bit of ventriloquism I ever did. So, welcome to the show. This is me, one versus me, two, snooker. Um, could have won a squeezy ball there. It's behind me on the table. Look, that orange ball could have been yours. Um, uh, this is frame 179 of infinity frames uh, between me one the normal man and me two the very very strong breeze two very different characters two very different playing styles uh, so far the contest has been flying one way then t'other uh, after an exciting drawn frame the last time we played don't know what the date of that was it's been a little while I apologise for not being here uh, it's now 84 83 to me one but look, we've we've left it almost comically left. It's as late. There's not really much point in uh, in doing this now. But so we might as well attempt it, I suppose. Let's see if I can clean my glasses. I had a little thing here before. Where's it gone? Yes, second. Yes, second. Ah, oh, there it is. Um, we we uh, we'll go over to the uh, eight oh three football scores. Slightly delayed due to my kids' bedtime. Um. So if I you, you're offended by me cleaning my glasses during the show, but I'm a very busy man. It's very hard for me to find time to do anything. Uh, it's the meaningless 8.03, but now uh, 8.29. What's the point? Uh, Women's Champions League, uh, Benfica women have got nil. The Leon Feminines. Let's just check these up to date. Feminines. They're very feminine and they're feminines. They've also got nil. Over to League Two. Bradford City nil. Notts County won. Good news for the fans of Notts County there. Notts County got a goal in. Um, over to the National League. This is good news for York City. Barnet two. Eastleigh nil. Eastleigh uh, three points ahead of York City. Currently in the relegation zone. York City need to get a pull their fingers out. Looks like we could be going down to the National League North, which is where we go next for Bishop Stortford nil, Kings Lynn Town 1. Kings Lynn is north, blimey. Bly Spartans 1, Buxton nil. It's Adam Buxton's team. Over to the National League South, Braintree Town nil, Weymouth nil. A lot more goals at this time of the day. Hampton and Richmond 1, Welling United 1, Truro City nil, Eastbourne Baron nil. Uh, Scottish League 1, Kelty Hart nil, Lower Athletic nil. And Lowland League, uh, Albion, Rother, Nil, Cumberland, Coat, Nil, Tranento, and East Stirling, Tire, One. Uh, I'll be in Scotland uh, this time next week. I'm head head heading up to uh, Glasgow on the Wednesday, but we're driving up on the Tuesday because it's a long old way to go, my friends. Um, so if you've enjoyed those Scottish accents, do come and see me 
in Glasgow. I think it's sold out, but then it uh, says there's 20 tickets just left, but on my sheet, but I keep on saying, can we sell those 20 tickets? And they never appear, so I think it's sold out. Hull on the Thursday. This week we're in Bedford doing Rahalastapa, uh, and uh, there are some tickets left for that. This is the last chance to sell some tickets. I've sold 70.2% of the tickets on this tour. I'm quite pleased with that. And I have to thank Bob Mortimer for a couple of those percent. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's been good. I'm glad it's nearly over. Right there. Can I have my ball back? <sighs> He's on tour. Um, and we're doing some tryouts now, but uh, on tour from uh, May, really, properly. So, uh, I do have to say that, uh, is it Martin Hole? Uh, his family got in touch to say uh, they didn't want the arena named after him. They felt I was rude to him. Unbelievably, there's only, th only three people have died today. Oh, no, it's up to four. Let's just check. We don't want to go for number four. And only one of them's older than me, and only one of them uh, is only older than me by... A matter of months, the 57-year-old Joe Baroni died, my favourite Italian-born American soccer director, who would died from complications from a heart attack. Uh, it's chilling that all these people were born in the 1970s, I would say. Um, apart from Joe Baroni, who was born in the 1960s. Oh, and Donny Kasuma, who was probably born just in the 1960s. But Chris Simon and Vasily Utkin... Uh, the other two people have died. All apart, well, one Indonesian actor and the others are all uh, sportsmen. So that's worrying for me because I too am a sportsman. Christopher Simon. Um, we don't know how he died. I'm not going to name it after him. It's too boring a name. I'm going to name it after... Um, oh, I've just lost the whole page. What am I going to do? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to name it after Vasily Utkin. And hopefully it will be his forever. Vasily Yutkin, of course, the Russian sports reporter, author and television host. He wasn't a sportsman, and if you look at the picture of him, you can see why. He looks a little bit like me, uh, but he would have presumably been the Russian correspondent for uh, commentating on Me 1 versus Me 2 snooker. I know I had a lot of fans in Russia, so sorry if I'm breaking the news about Vasily Yutkin to you. He died today. Um, he was... Uh, he was uh, the chief editor of Sports Channel's NTV Plus uh, and was in place until the restructuring to Match TV. Um, he died of pulmonary, pulmonary embolism. Do watch out for that one. That can that takes out a lot of people. Uh, but, of course, people who die in Russia have to worry, wonder if uh, anything else killed them. Uh, well done to President Putin for uh, the fantastic win in the elections. You must be very proud. Uh, anyway, look, we're, we're here to play snooker. We're not here to chat. Uh, we're not here to name that tune. We're not here to have puppets predict the future. We are here to play snooker. And I uh, can't remember anything about the last frame, but let's see if Me One can. He's just sitting down now. He drew that frame. How are you, Me One? Pretty good. Yeah, feeling good about uh, wearing my my t uh, t shirt. And um, I, uh, yeah, look, I, I can't remember if it was lucky that I got a draw, uh, unlucky I got a draw last time. But here I am, one frame ahead, and I intend to win the next frame as well to make it two frames ahead. I mean, these interviews are getting pretty dull. Well, Richard, you know, we there's only so much you can say, isn't there, about snooker? And, um, you know, I just hope I win the, the frame of snooker. Let's see if Me Too has anything else to say. You must be angry. Yeah, I feel like I probably threw away the last frame. I should have won it, and then... I Feels like me one came back right at the end and just drew it. I can't remember. It might have been me. If that case, well done to me. Otherwise, it's a travesty. Uh, but I won't let my young fans down. There's a lot of young fans in hospital. And they're relying on me. And um, I will uh, I will win the match for them. Bit tired. You sound a bit tired, me too. I'm tired, Richard. I'm very tired. I've just It's just endless work, work, work. It's not all work, work, work. It is all work, work, work. Yeah, fair enough. Um, shall we just crack on with the frame? Uh, let's head over to... I feel like we there's something else we usually do, but maybe not. Let's head over to Commentator 1, Commentator 2 in the Me 1 versus Me 2 Vasily Utkin Arena. Va is Vasily... Is it Vasily Utkin? Was that his name? Or Litkin? I mean, let's get it right. It's only polite, isn't it? Vasily Utkin. Was Pipkins named after him? No, because that, that, that was a different name. Utkin. 
Nasli Atkin. Nasli Atkin. Oh, my dog's barking. Hope everything's okay. Uh, hello, Richard. Welcome to, there might be someone breaking into the house. You're right, Phoebes. Just gonna, just before we crack on, I'm just gonna check the dog's okay. Probably just someone walking past the house. What's going on, Wolfie? You're right, Phoebes. Okay. I'm coming back now, the dog's barking again. Not like the dog to bark at night, that's the thing. Anyway, we'll crack on. If someone's breaking in, they've got a dog to contend with. It's uh, great to be back, isn't it, commentator too? Yes, it is. And me too. Is it good or is it bad? Me too. Ah. Oh. And me too spotted the little uh, joke that's been played there by referee three. God bless you. Me too. He's not gone enough. He's not potted anything. It's nil nil. As we start this in very important frame, me one. Crucial frame. Me one straight in, no messing, doesn't even look down. Knows he can get this. Oh, and this is the green, unfortunately, because he came right back up the table. 1-0 to me, 1, though. Could be an unassailable lead. Could be an unsayable lead. Oh, me too. That was... I mean... <laughs> that was quite a bad shot for his, for his second shot. Uh, he is... Um, he snookered me, 1, who can get to play any ball as a red now. He's going to play the brown as a red. Pots it. Beautiful. It only counts as one. And it's not looking good for me too. In the early stages, me one. Going for the pink, why not? It's a bonus. He's missed it by some distance. Uh, he's up to... Oh, I'll put that down where I that. Six nil to me one. By my reckoning, me too. Can't miss now, surely. He hasn't missed. Is he going to get anything in? No. Me tip me one. Pots are beautiful. Beautiful. Red. Can't get any. Oh, going for the black and... Um, oh, dear. He thought he could get the edge of the black. Me one gets one but gives away seven. And it's seven all. Incredible seven all. Me two right back into this. Tries to double. Doesn't succeed. Me one. After all that hard graft. Oh, that's not, oh, I thought it was nice, but it's nowhere near. It was on the black, but me too now. Could get into a commanding lead. He's potted the easy red. Well, some would say not deserving of this, but look at that beautiful play. Pots the black. Uh, I'm going to say beautiful play. It's not very, it's not really got the position on any reds here. Yeah, nothing's going to happen here unless he can do an amazing cannon shot, which of course he'll try. Eight points to me too, and unbelievably, somehow me too is way ahead. Let's see what robot voice has to say. Calculating, calculating, me one, seven, me two, 15, me one. Oof. He's just made an easier long shot for me too. Me too takes it, oh, bobbles it, and nearly comes out, but it goes in for once. Bit hit a bit hard, me too. Oh, tries to go down to pot the brown. Me too, commanding lead. And me one must wonder what's happened. How has this happened to him? Oh, and he's lost it now. He's lost it, Mandy. Me too. Oh, I thought he could just n nudge that in, but doesn't do so. Me too, me one. Is it or me too? Oh, I'm so tired. Um, anyone know whose go it is now? I think it's me one or me two. Anyone got any theories? Got to wait for the slight delay. Me one or me two? What do we think? Me three. Ian Amazon thinks me two. Sit down, Jim says me three. Andy McCage is confused. Me two will take it. Well. Me three is 
as <laughs> won the vote. I think it's me too's turn. Let's say it's me too's turn. He's in the lead. And me too. Oh, attempts to pot two reds, gets none, but has set up me one. And me one could get back into it here. Look at that. That's why me one is one frame ahead. Oh, shit. So there's a scratching post. Unusually in the way there, I'll move that to me one equals the highest break of the frame. Can he? Oh, he knew that was a risk. He knew it was a risk. He potted the red, but unfortunately potted the white as well. So me one gets a break of eight, takes him up to 15, but gives away four. Calculating, calculating, me one, 15, me two, 20, and me two has... The chance to pot another red, which he takes. Is he going to go in off? No. He's come up for the black. Not quite on it, but I think he can get it. Not like that. Oh, oh, oh no, me too. Gets up to 21. Everyone a little bit tired in the arena tonight. Probably shouldn't have bothered playing. Me... One. Oh, me one does the same thing again. Pots the red, goes in off. He's doing his up to his old tricks. And me too looks like winning this pretty much just on fouls. He did get that spectacular break of eight. And that wasn't a bad shot. That was why they pay him the big bucks. Oh, that wasn't too bad either, but didn't go in. And he had a very good chance to make a snooker here. 26 plays 15, but he hasn't done it. But me one could. Try and get somewhere back with a snooker here. That's lovely from me one. That's, that is almost unplayable. I mean, I would say that's unplayable. There's, there's colours on this side, which means you can't come off the top cushion. I mean, there's no humanly possible way of getting this except, doom, doom. Do I rely on, is he going to do it? Oh, he's hit the black. Uh, and seven points to me one comes in very handy and me one has been given a free ball and uh, if he misses this the red will be in the same sort of place as before and he has missed it oh but he's slight oh he gets a snooker somehow me too oh very close that time me too <laughs> gives away four more points gives away another free ball and me one's no fool. He creates another snooker. Me too. Gets out of it. Is he going to pot it? Oh, he's gone in off. So me too. It looked like he was flying. But what's the score now, robot voice? Calculating, calculating. Me one, 30. Me two, 26. So me one. Oh, nice clean strike. But oh, has he got another snooker? I don't think so. Me too. Me too, another fantastic pot from the man they call the fantastic potter sometimes. Oh, it doesn't get the pink though. Might be lucky because I don't think he's on the yellow. Me too, clawing back a point. Me one, snookered. Oh, just misses. Me too, back in the lead. Uh, he gets a free ball. Pots the brown, which counts as a yellow. Can he point the yellow and get a yellow? Double is... Yes, he can. What a shot that was. That was the shot of the match. Can me too clear from here? It would be the most amazing frame ever if he did. Not like that, he can't. Oh, but maybe he's going for the snooker. Me too gets four points. He's 35 plays 30. Me one, got to play the entire length of the board. <sighs> Nearly misses the green altogether, just gets it, but he's set up me too. He doesn't miss chances like this. Me too, suddenly. <sighs> suddenly, I see what I was meant to be. And he's going for a snooker. <sighs> <sighs> the black ball <laughs> hanging over the edge. So seven points to me too. It's 42 plays 30. 
Me one can still get it. The black's going in, I can tell you that. Oh, he's got the blue. He's going to struggle to get the pink. Whoever gets the pink should get the black. Me one. Plummets up to 35. This is an exciting friend. The black ball still. This could be tipping point. Me too. He's gone in off. Oh no, me too. I think has just thrown everything away. It's 42, play, 42 or 43, place 42. What do you think, Andy McH? 42, place 41, do you think? Um, okay, we'll call it that. All right, that's right. I think more, I think the, I think it's 42 all. I'm going to say 42 all. Doesn't really make much difference. Me one. It might make a slight difference. I don't know if he can get this pink. He's got it. He's got the pink. But is he far enough away from the curb to get the black? Of course he is. Is he going to go in off? It doesn't matter what the exact score is. Me one gets an amazing break of 15 to take him up to 40, 57, 42. That's what I think it is. And that's what we're going with. 57. Is it 55? Oh, yes, yeah, 13. You're right. And Andy is right. It's 55 plays 42. 55, 42. What, a, what an amazing frame. Doesn't matter. Me one's one. 85, 83 is the overall score. Uh, I think we can all agree that was quite good. It was all right. What do you think, commentator two? Um, yeah, I thought it was all right. Back to Rich in the studio. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll quickly talk to um, me too. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm not happy because I lost. Uh -uh. Uh, and me one, how do you feel? Happy because I won. Well, that's sort of sport in its essence there, isn't it? That's sport wrapped up in a nice, neat little boat. Excuse me. Um, and, uh, yeah, probably just a little bit too tired to play the sport tonight. But so uh, we've had fun. And uh, we won't be able to twitch a fun on Thursday or the Thursday after. Uh, or the Thursday after or the Thursday after. So we'll see you uh, for Twitch of Fun uh, in mid-April. I can't do, I can't do uh, snooker next week or the week next week or the next week. So there's like a month to both shows, really. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, but thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your snooker from me and all the me's. Go away now. We, we, this has gone on long enough. It's gone on quite long enough.